Hi everyone. So I get asked a lot about um, my baby blanket templates and they are smart objects so they work in Photoshop. But they will, you can use them in Inkscape or Silhouette but they're just a lot harder and they don't have smart objects. But recently I was told about this program, it's completely free, called Photopea and it's very similar to Photoshop and the best part is you can use smart objects. So I'm going to show you, so I'm going to open up a baby blanket template. So let's do dinosaurs. So I open it up and then I come over here where it says smart object, click here. So I'm going to double click. This will bring up all of the names or all of the fonts. So I'm just going to start at the top and I'm going to change the names. Now, if you didn't already have the text in installed it would change your text but it will tell you what the text is that it should be over here and then you can go and download it um, all of the text I use in the baby blankets are all free text so you can go download them and then come back um, and then if you need to install you go to load font and I have all mine saved in a fonts folder so say I didn't have this one's tropical paradise so search tropical and I'm going to hit install. It says font is loaded. So let's change the name. I'm just going to do Jason. I'm just going to work my way around. And I'm going to show you how easy this template is. Now there's a little bit, there is a little bit of difference between Photoshop and this and I'm going to show you what it is here in just a minute. So, in Photoshop, as soon as you're done changing all the text, you just X out and it saves it for you. That is not the case here. So, I'm going to go to File, Save Smart Object. Now, it says Smart Object Updated. Now, I can X out and look at that. There it is. And I'm ready to print my panels. It's literally that simple. Some of them come in with the black area turned on. That's just for um, to make sure that your font is or your text is where you want it to be. Like if this JSON is a little bit too close, I can come back to my smart object, click on that name, which I think it's snow. Uh, let's see. And I can Maybe move it like that and then I'm going to come back over here I have to also hit save again save smart object it's been updated now I can X out and see how it's more in the middle but I always turn that off before printing so these you this is where you can toggle on and off that's it that's as simple as it is file print there is no print here <laughs> So you could save it as a Photoshop file. You can actually save as a Photoshop file. I wonder if it'll let me print if I hit Control P. Yep, there you go. So Control P will get you to print. Of course, this is set up for my label maker or my label printer at home. So, <clears throat> but that's how you do it. Looks pretty easy. I was actually really impressed. I'd never used the Photopea before. Um, but you see how this wreath is behind the text? I don't want that like that. I want my wreath below the text so I can just drag it. So same thing as in Photoshop, you can drag around the placement of objects, which is pretty cool. All right, that'll do it. Photopia.com right here. Look, Photopia.com.